China's attempts to dominate the world of AI could be paying off with industry insiders and technology analysts telling CNBC that Chinese AI models are keeping pace with and even surpassing those from the US in terms of performance. This is something I had a big argument with Karen about the other day as well. She wouldn't have it, but uh, I was saying that China and the Chinese military are making great strides. Yeah, look, there's some really uh, innovative large language models, these AI models coming out of China. And I've been doing research over the past few weeks, speaking to uh, a number of sources and experts in this area. And here are some of the top line findings, really. The, the Chinese open source uh, models, and I get into that in a moment, are proving very popular globally. Uh, with developers, there's apps and, and, and everything being built on top of them. The capabilities of some of these models are matching up to some of those out the US in, in multiple areas as well. And these are happening despite some of the chip restrictions we've seen from Washington on China at this point in time. Now, let me just deal with this sort of idea of open source or open weight, uh, as they call it in the AI model space. These are yeah, effectively... Open weight? I need new term. I've, I've this, only this just got a... used to LLM. And... I know. Open weight is effectively the, the word they use for open source in the AI model uh, category. Same thing. Uh, but these are effectively models uh, that can be downloaded for free. Apps can be built on them without stringent uh, licensing requirements uh, as well. You know, example of open source software is Android uh, on mobile as well. Uh, some of the Chinese uh, LLMs that are doing very well at the moment are Alibaba's QN uh, model, which is proving one of the most popular on a uh, service called Hugging Face which we spoke about a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, a big repository of some of the best uh, and biggest LLMs around. DeepSeek is another one that is making waves at the moment uh, as well. Now, open source is a way for some of the Chinese LLMs uh, and tech companies to get their models out into the world without having to sell these through, okay. through expensive ways. Uh, and, and it's a way for them to be able to, to get the, the LLMs into the hands of developers, for them to be built on. Now, there's many who have sort of compared some of these LLMs to operating systems. Mm -hmm. And so if we think about it in that way, there is a big advantage here for China to go forward, push out these open source models uh, to developers if around the world to, to challenge some of the US companies. Chinese open source, that's, mm -hmm. you just mentioned the key point there, that's around the world. That's not just open source within a splinter net just in a Chinese-dominated arena. That's correct. What does that do to the business model of XAI and OpenAI, who obviously don't want proprietary information out there in the greater world? What, what, what do you call it again? The open weight? The what? open weight. They don't want it out in the open <laughs> weight. They want it closed, obviously, so yeah. they can monetize it better. Yeah, it certainly provides now a challenge. What does that do to the $157 billion <laughs> valuation for OpenAI, which I think their last revenues, I can't remember, I think the last revenues were $5 billion, weren't they? Well, I'm it, not saying they're going to grow expon exponentially. And it's it, a brilliant bet. But. It, it, well, it certainly provides, provides a big challenge, an yeah. alternative at this point, especially at this point, I think, when you look at uh, the sort of the benchmarking of some of these models versus the likes of OpenAI and others, that is uh, where th there is really a challenge. It's all, all well and good being open, open way, open source. But actually, uh, what's key here is the fact that the capabilities are, are very good. So let's dig.